Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be doing a test of this J Diagnostics Automotive OBD2 car scanner. This one is fairly feature packed for the price. I paid $28 for this on Amazon, got free shipping. I've already used it a couple times and this has a couple really useful features. You can get these in a Bluetooth version such as this. Previously reviewed this. This one was one of the cheapest uh, OBD2 systems that you can buy. Uh, you will need a free app with this on your phone or you could also purchase an app these are really really handy but for some of you guys especially me prefer ones with an actual wire this connects straight to your car's obd2 port in any 1996 and newer car and you'll have access to really important useful information mainly i really like the battery diagnostics feature in this car. there are a lot of these scanners available uh, for a lot more money than this and some for only a little bit less money than this i think this has about the best mix of function functionality this has a stored diagnostics library with all your trouble codes you could easily look them up so you no longer have to live with the days where you had to look up your own diagnostics code in case you had a check engine light on in your car so let's connect this to my car in real time we'll see what it looks like first i have the car off i will just connect the 16 port obd2 connector right under my steering wheel and each car the location of your obd2 port is slightly different in this particular one this is a 04 lincoln ls v8 it is right above the gas pedal let me connect it it powers on and let's start the car okay the car is started you can in fact also run this with the engine off but i don't mind it's kind of cold outside so i kind of need the heater right now okay so let me press okay that we have it all connected okay this is the menu that we get uh doesn't look really that colorful but that's okay you can get these in really nice layouts this is pretty much uh the bare bones and some extras that you need for the price which is really good okay so it says my battery is good the voltage is 14.3 volts which is good we could scroll down a battery in good condition okay so that's good right all right let's go to diagnostics it's gonna run through the test itself there we go i have no codes uh you know because this is a lincoln you never have any codes right you could erase codes if you had any you could look at live data you could look at i am readiness which is what you need for your inspections let's check the i am readiness monitors they all look good okay it says everywhere which is what you want you could scroll down for a complete list then simply just go back let's go back let's go up to live data also really important in case you want to see any of the actual statistics on your motor or sensor data here we go we could again see the actual voltage of the battery and in fact it's really cool let me show you guys this i'm going to turn the engine off and you'll see the battery voltage drop let's give it a little while here and it's starting to slowly drop which is normal it should settle somewhere around 12 volts which is uh the regular resting voltage in a battery you know if you see below about uh 11 and a half chances are you probably will need a new battery coming soon in the winter all right so it's about 12 volts that's okay let's start it back up we'll see the voltage jump you saw that slight dip to about 9 or 10 volts uh that was because the battery was obviously you know providing current to start the car uh, so this live data is really important and useful. Let's go down on the list. I'm going to press the down arrow right here. We have uh, engine load temp engine load. As I press the gas a little bit, you could see the engine load is basically similar because we're not going anywhere. We have engine load 29%, engine coolant temperature 194 degrees. Really important feature here in case you guys have cars that tend to overheat. This is one of them. So for me, that is kind of a key thing. Let's keep going down the list. You have a bunch of other parameters, map sensor readings, RPM 686. That is accurate. I have the car idling right now. Vehicle speed zero. We're not going anywhere. We're parked. You have a whole bunch of other sensor data which is live information i don't know much of it but in case you had any kind of issues with your oxygen sensor you can check a lot of these uh thresholds here just gonna go through them if you guys are interested just you know pause the video and look it up yourself there we go that is about it that's the whole list of the vehicle uh, live data you can record freeze frames i'm not going to be doing that right now exit obd2 test are you sure yes 
Yes. Let's check out uh, DTC lookup. This is also a key feature of the scanner. It enables you to look up any vehicle code. So let's check, uh, you know, whatever we want. Doesn't matter, let's go to Ford, right? P, and obviously you would have your uh, code that you would have. Let's go to next, P1, and it also tells you the automatic predictive feature here. P1, let's say okay, P10, uh, as long as you change anything, P1100, mass airflow sensor in intermittent. So uh, you do have a full library that is fairly good. It's predictive. So let's, let me go to anything else. Throttle position, sensor out of range. Okay. Uh, and these are, once again, just, you know, codes that are stored in the library. This car doesn't actually have these codes. Just wanted to show you guys a library of codes. Pretty useful stuff here. Let's go back. Go back. You can also change your... Uh, items in the setup um, you could change the language obviously the units of measure I have it now in Fahrenheit uh, but when you buy this it will be in metric so you will be showing a lot of this stuff in Celsius one of the most useful features of this is the live data and especially the battery uh, feature so right now I have the card it is off it is about 12 volts I'm gonna turn it on notice the drop in the voltage when you start the car and then notice the spike in the battery voltage when the alternator begins to output voltage You saw that it dropped to about 10 volts and now it's up to in the low 14. So the alternator is doing good. This is a really good way to test whether your alternator is actually working and your battery is able to handle the load and the capacity at resting voltage. Okay guys, now I'm in a different vehicle. I'm just gonna show you that this thing does work and look at the nice backlit LCD. It's pretty clean. Let's check out what it got. The car is off. I only want to use the battery tester because in case you have a dead car, you know, you can't turn it on. So this is a different car. This is a Toyota Prius. So you could see that it is 12.57 volts and the car is off right now. So the battery is good. If we scroll down, it says battery in good condition. Okay, now I'm going to put the car into the on position without starting the motor and we're going to run the diagnostics themselves. Let's press yes over here, this check mark. We're going to run the diagnostics. Here we go, no trouble codes, everything looks okay. Let's run another diagnostics code. Everything looks okay. Oh, look at that, we got two different control modules. So we have engine and something else here. I'm not sure what that is, but this is a Toyota Prius, so it's gonna be a little bit funky here. Hmm, interesting, I've never seen this before. Let's read the live data. Okay, RPM seems good. Engine load normal. Warm ups 255. Runtime 67. Oh, look at that, it's tracking the runtime that I have the engine on right now. That's pretty cool. Wow. Let's see. This is also really important. You see that in this uh, scan mode here, it's telling me the amount of time since the last clear. I guess this is 539 hours since the last time that the check engine light was somehow cleared or maybe the battery was disconnected. Really interesting. Current time that the check engine light has been on is zero hours, zero minutes. Uh, that is accurate. This is really useful in case you're shopping for a used car and you gotta check whether someone, you know, either disconnected the battery or cleared the codes before you were purchasing it. So just for this feature alone, I would highly recommend this. Really important. The cheaper function scanners do not have this function. Okay guys, there you go. I gotta say that I can recommend this product. You saw me go through the whole demonstration, all the live tests, the stored data, the vehicle information lookup, and especially my favorite, the battery tester. You know, now that winter time is approaching, this is a really useful feature and something that these cheaper code scanners do not offer. If you don't really wanna mess with one like this that is connected to your phone, this is your only other alternative. 
and I'm very happy with this purchase. I am going to be using this. I always like to check my cars before I get them inspected just in case. And it's just something that everybody that has a relatively older car should get. There it is, guys. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions about this product, please put it in the comments below. I'm always more than happy to answer any of you out there. Thanks so much for watching. Till next time.